All right, what's up? As you can see, we are back at the Wunderbar Firelink Shrine. I'm just going to um, do this here. Hey, I was right. It was 25,000. I'm so smart. All right. So, now we got that finished off. And then from what I understand, once I go down and I, like, I ascend the pyromancy flame... Um, like if I come back and talk to him, he's like, oh, where'd you find it? And then if I tell him where I found it, he goes running down to the, um, to Blight Town, to the swamp. And then he ends up dying. <laughs> well, not dying, but he goes hollow and then you gotta, you gotta fight him. But, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go back. Hopefully, the Ascension doesn't cost too much. I'm not sure, I don't know if you can upgrade further after the Ascension, but I learned a few things during my grinding. Number one, I was doing the grinding wrong. Because after I finished, after I got to the 200,000 souls, I was like, you know what, man? I gotta figure out, like, why do people consider this such a good grind, like, the best grinding area in the game? There's no... This isn't really that good overall. Like, the fights aren't easy, especially if they group up on you and, you know, not being able to target half the people just sucks. So I go check it out. Turns out you're not supposed to fight them legit. You're supposed to exploit a glitch in the AI. Well, not maybe not a glitch, but like a... Uh, just like a flaw in their pathfinding system. There's a little path to the left of, oh my god. See, look at how much damage that does, dude. It's so godlike. Um, you're supposed to exploit a flaw in the AI with their pathfinding in the area if you're at those stairs and you just, you go um, like right to the left, or right when you enter those stairs, there's a tiny little ledge that you can walk on, that if you walk on there, um, the AI will not consider that like a valid pathway. They won't try and, um, they won't try to use it at all. They end up, what they do to try to get to you is they try to walk up, they try to walk up the stairs and then like from that platform jump down to you. And so when they do that, they tend to just jump right off the ledge, and then you pretty much just get free experience for it. You don't really fight them, you just pretty much get free experience for it. So that is what I was supposed to be doing this entire... Oh, you know what? One thing I want to try. I want to try this. Because I got... Oh, wait, no, I have to... Never mind. Wait, I might have it. Hey, yo. So I have to do this? I do. Okay. Wee! Nope. All right, that didn't work. <laughs> I had to try. I had to try. But um, what was the other thing? Oh, I learned of a, of a way to get like infinite souls, basically. But obviously, I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna try and use that. That's. That is something that I would like. I would try to do if I was just doing like a new game plus or something, and I wasn't like I wasn't recording or anything. That's something I might do, just then to like test shit out, um, like that kind of a thing. Like I wouldn't bring it online or anything, but just to check it out, see how a bunch of shit works. You know, like upgrading weapons and whatnot that would take way too fucking long otherwise. But now I know that, and then. What else is there? Oh, you can see my dude kind of glowing a little bit. The reason for that is that I equipped him with the wolf ring. Was it the wolf ring or was it the hornet ring? I'm pretty sure it was the wolf ring. That it, like, increases your poise. And I believe I mentioned, you know, what the fuck is poise. I don't know what the hell poise is. Um, turns out, poise is something that is, like, included in your armor statistics. And basically, it determines whether or not an attack staggers you. So, I've been using light armor this entire time, and apparently light armor has zero poise. So, that's why every attack has been staggering me. But now that I have this ring, I have 40 poise. So, I'm just going to check with him again. 
Oops. Goodbye. And then after this, after I go down to Quilana once more, I'll move over to uh, Sen's Fortress and start that up now. Since I am sick and fucking tired of grinding, especially pisses me off even more to know that I have wasted so much time due to the fact that, like, there's an exploit that these people are all using and that I'm too stupid to use, I guess. I don't even know how, like, I, it always confuses me how exactly people discover that shit. But I certainly would never have discovered it myself. That is for damn sure. Alright, so this time I'm just gonna run by the big dudes. Fuck them. Fuck fighting them. I don't care. Fuck the random ass color change that just looks hella weird. I wonder if that's actually supposed to happen. If it's actually supposed to look like this. Oh, balls! Oh, that one was just roaring. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, fuck all y'all. Fuck all y'all. Need my souls. That would suck. To lose 160,000 souls, I would cry. I would legitimately cry. Like a little child. They're still following? I wonder if they'll, like, jump off the bridge. Hey, they did. Just watch. We're gonna watch. Jump off again. You're an asshole for not jumping off. One of them jumped straight off the ledge. Are they actually using the ladder? I don't know. They're not exactly the smartest of enemies, I know that. Somebody wanted to check. Somebody said you hold down the action button. See, if you hold down... Okay, so that's that. But somebody said if you hold down, like, the run button, you would slide down the ladder. And that's what I'm trying. And there is... There's currently... There's currently no sliding happening. So I'm gonna have to call bullshit on that. <laughs> I just did it. I'll do it again. This time I mashed it. There's still absolutely zero. Attack, you asshole! I hit the button way before... Oh, is this where the dude fell to? Yeah, it is. Haha. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, my God. Yay, frame rate. You're so awesome. The fuck? When did I switch to Firebomb? Oops. This is gonna hurt a little bit, isn't it? That's my bad. Oh wait, no. Do I wanna go this way? I do wanna go this way. Just over here. Just get out of that shit. Let's see. Yep. I know this motherfucker's gonna try and sneak up on my ass. I knew it. The fuck? Oh. This asshole. But yeah, right now, the Pyromancy Flame is actually pretty fucking good. It's doing some fantastic damage. And like, as you saw, I was doing like 500 to those other dudes. Did I? Nope, didn't get out. Guess I should just keep it for now. Oh, I was Alright, so! This is... Yes! Yes! Oh, so much. I'm gonna buy the spells first. 
So I definitely want all the spells. Possibly. I still have 61,000 left. Now go. Whatever you do, rest my time. Ah, I applaud your diligence. But what have you brought for me? Hmm. Thought I was supposed to get something special. I don't get it though. Like, why is it plus one, but the fire attack remains exactly the same? Me no understand. Damn it, now I still need more souls. Fuck that. Long ago, I ex over 200 years ago, in your world, he was called Salaman, the master pyromancer. The little rascal really made something of himself. Pyromancy is the... But remember, always fear the flame. I would hate to... Hmm. Now, go. I thought I was supposed to get a special spell from Do her. My time spent on you. I probably, I probably just, I'm just not aware of. I'm probably wrong. Probably just entirely wrong. Which is obviously a very real possibility. So let's wander back up now. And then I don't have to rest the campfire, the bonfire, so I don't have to worry about. What the first? Oops. God damn it. I wish you could, that was the other thing that I was going to mention, I really, really wish that you could fucking, um, there were more than two weapon slots, like equipment slots, right hand, left hand slots. Blah, how much damage? What? Oh, that's right, this dude uses fire. Alright, makes sense, never mind, never mind, alright, how much damage, how much damage? Mmm! That's like a 70 damage increase on him, I think, that's pretty substantial. So that's good. I think that looks different too, the picture. Anyway. Um. But yeah, I really wish there were more slots that you could use to change weapons. Because like, I mean, let's face it. You pretty much always want to have a shield equipped at all times. So I mean like, realistically what I should be doing is have one weapon... And then, you know, the pyromancy, that's what I should be doing. You know, I should have whichever weapon I want to use on the right hand, and then the pyromancy as the alternate. But, like, I want to mix it up a bit. You know, I want to use different weapons. And shit. But I also want to continue using pyromancy. So, it's kind of, it's a little annoying, I guess, would be the proper term. That I only have two slots to choose from, and it's like... It wouldn't be so bad if there was a legitimate pause button in this game. So that, you know, I could actually pause when I'm doing sh When, like, you know, shit's happening and I could actually change my equipment. But, you know. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of not having a pause button is. Which is, I guess, a damn good thing. That my controller is one of the, you know, rechargeable battery ones that you can just, you can plug in, make it wired. Because that is what I am constantly using. Yes, we're r and Fuck you. Oh god, oh god, hit him, hit him, hurry. Okay, good. See how much combustion does, so, see how much combustion does in comparison to fire. Ball, fire orb, fire orb. Fire orb is what it is. Balls. Balls. Oh, balls! Shit. So it does a little bit less damage, but it is faster. Probably be what I'd use if I was not currently... I mean, like, it was what I would use to, like, block... Then I block some, then I use it, then I block some, then I use it. That kind of a thing. That's what I would probably do. I'll have to try out once I get back to a bonfire. Where am I going? Right. So I'm just going back to the bonfire I came from to get to Sin's Fortress. So. Once I get there, I'll switch out to Great Combustion. See exactly how that shit goes. It's too bad you can't upgrade spells, too. So that you got more uses out of them. 
I always, I always check this now. One time when I was off camera, the first time I came back here to level up my pyromancy flame, I just walked straight in thinking, yeah, the elevator will be there. I'm here, the elevator will be there. The elevator wasn't there. Fell down the pit. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Made me kind of sad. So I'm going to go try and talk to this dude now, see if he does end up running down there. And the next time we go down there, hopefully we'll meet him when we go down there to try and go to the Great Hollow. We will see him again, since I already bought all his spells and shit. Oh, hello there. You've been... Why? What? What? What spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I have never seen anything like it. Why, well, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. So I shall locate you myself, owning your debt once again. Yep. The pyromancer's flame is, is a flame. When I gave you that flame, please take it. Goodbye then. Huh, oh, so that's, that's interesting. That's an interesting little a tribute backstory to how that shit works. Try to go. Do I even have the that thing with me anymore? Divine Falcon. Yep. Shall do. That's one thing I need to do too eventually when I start wanting to upgrade weapons again. Cause I mean to get them further than plus, getting them to plus five is pretty fucking simple. Um, you know, you only need to use the regular Titanite shards, and you just buy those straight off the blacksmith. And then other than that, all you need is soul. So it was pretty simple to get. You know, most of the not, like, rare weapons to plus five. But to get them past that, I need large Titanite shards and green Titanite sh Ooh, excuse me, green Titanite shards. Both of which I know are dropped off, if you remember, in the depths, those big-ass blobs. Those things, those drop them. Oh my god, he's close. So, I mean, like, once I go down there, grind for a little bit more humanity. Just grind for a little bit more humanity, and then when I'm there, just kill those blobs. See how many Titanite shards I can get. So I can effectively upgrade stuff better. So I'm actually, I'm just going to start a whole new video for Sin's Fortress. So sorry for making you watch me walk just all the way back here. 